Hello, I'm Mr. Bates one and welcome back to another how-to video. You like that? In today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can add behavior packs to your world and still play uh, earn achievements from your world as well at the same time. Now, just a massive disclaimer before we start from here. First of all, before doing anything in this video, make sure you take a copy of your world first and do what I'm about to show you on the copied version of your world. Never do this on the original because if it messes up, I will not be held responsible for that. So just remember that. And second of all, this only seems to work on realms. I, I tested very, very much on a local player world and for some reason I just couldn't get it to work. I don't know what it is behind it that is doing it. I just found out on realms this works, on single player it doesn't. So just keep that in mind as well. You do need a realm for this to work. Without further ado then, let's first of all get straight into this video. So here we are then on the other monitor. We're on my main desktop now. I've already prepared a, a few things here. So first of all, this is just a shortcut to my world folder. This is gonna be the location you need to go. Obviously replace my name with whatever the name of your profile is, but this should take you to where your worlds and add-ons are. Now there are two ways of doing this. You can either install the add-on directly into Minecraft using the MPAC version, or you can simply uh, do this manually yourself without having to import it directly into Minecraft. If you want to just do it with Minecraft and then copy the files over, just simply run the MC pack file if you've got a version MC pack file of that. If you don't and you only have the zip version or if you want to convert it to a zip version, it's actually very, very easy. You just simply rename mpack to .zip and then extract the files. In this instance though, uh, I already have this add-on in place. So the add-on that I'm going to be using in this preview is uh, Foxy No Tails One uh, Single Person Sleep for Realms because I find that's a very useful thing to have on a realm, especially when you've got a lot of players playing on it. And the fact that you can use this and still earn achievements, I think is fantastic. If you want to actually do this uh, using a brand new world, so you would create that first in Minecraft as you normally would, create world, load it up locally on your machine, don't add anything to it. Just a simple blank world. First thing you do is you go to your games folder and we go to Minecraft Worlds. And usually the last world, if you order it by date modified, this is on a PC, obviously, if you order it by date modified, usually you will see the last world you entered will be the top. If you are not sure, just check the level name here. And as you can see, this was the copy of Sourcraft that I used. So there are a couple of things that I had to do here. First of all, I manually created a behavior packs folder simply right click new folder and you need to name it exactly like this all lowercase and then inside this folder you need to take your add-on now in this case if we were using the dot zip you would just simply copy this folder out and as you can see you just copy it straight into the main one if you were doing it from if you've imported the world into minecraft and you want to copy it from there instead you just go back a couple of places in your folder and you'll see behavior packs are here instead. And as you can see, this is the one. So you would literally just copy it from here and then go back to your Minecraft world. And then in your behavior packs folder, you simply just paste in the folder that you've just copied. This is now nearly ready to use. There's one other thing you need to do. You need to go to the manifest.json file. You need to open this up. This is what this is going to be. Let's bring this over. So this is what the Foxy No Tails one player sleep system looks like. Two things you will need to take from this. I've highlighted them. This is the UUID and the version. Now the reason for this is, is that in the main folder here where your level name is. Now if you've never installed a behavior pack, these two files won't be here and nor will this. So it will just be the world icon, the level names, and the normal files. So what you then need to do is manually create this world behavior file here. If we just open this up, and as you can see here, this is just simply the UUID and the version number. And if we can just flick between the two, you can see there, they are the same. So once you've done that, you place worldbehaviorpacks.json in your main world folder. You place the folder with your mod on there, and that is it. That is ready to go. And we are back here. So this is the copy of the world that we had. In fact, this is the one that we just did the intro from, and this is the one that I uploaded to the realm. 
I'll do it on this file now that it's already uploaded to the realm. But as you can see, it shows up here as being active. All you have to do to do this, you just upload your world as you normally do. But to know if it works or not, if you go over to here where it says behavior packs, you will see that it says active. So as you can see, this shows that this has a behavior pack that is active. Depending on the size, if it's a, low, uh, a small one like this is 500 meg. So it took a while for this to upload, but eventually once it upload, this is what happened. So just while this is loading then, um, I'm actually using my Xbox here because I usually play on the PC and I already have most of the achievements on the PC. So I thought I, I haven't actually played much on the Xbox. I should be able to just pick an easy, easy achievement from here, stream it over to my PC using the companion and everything will be great with the world. Unfortunately, I am a noob at this and I didn't record any audio. It turns out that at some point I muted the audio on the companion app and it didn't record. So you get to listen to me instead. Yay! Now, as you can see here, I was looking around for some wood to try and craft a sign with because I thought that would be the easiest achievement to get. But it turned out there was no oak wood anywhere. I was searching all over the place. I cannot find anywhere where there's oak wood. Look, I'm searching here. And I searched here. And I'm searching there. I'm also there. Still didn't find anything. Look, I'm even derping it trying to take off. I just gave up on that quickly. However, in the end... I ended up managing to get some wood from the entrance of the mine. So we'll just ignore the fact that we just pulled the building down for this. Now look, there's a crafting table here, so we can just make this now. Place the sign down. Now as all achievements, as you know, you have to wait a moment before they pop up. Three hours later. Haha, <laughs> and there she is. The achievement has popped. The achievement is there. We have earned it. Yes. Now, I wanted to show you that the mod is obviously indeed working because you might think, oh, you could be showing us this and then adding it on it. No, no, it's definitely not. It's definitely working. So rather than just cut the video here, I am actually just going to speed this section up and uh, you can see everything we're doing. I'm just basically giving my stepson a tour around the realm because he's not really been on this realm before. And I'm just showing him all the places and all the things that I've done and got up to. So I'm just going to time lapse this next bit until the sun goes down and I'll see you in a moment. And there you go, as you can see now, it is becoming night time. It's actually a pretty sunset, that I quite like that. So I might as well prompt Evan here to go to bed. Wait, where's he going? Bed's not that way. Ah, there we go. There we go. He's going to the right place there. Oh, would you look at that? And there you go. The single player sleep is working perfectly. Excellent. Thank you, Evan. And there you have it. That is how you can add an add on and still earn achievements in your worlds. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.